Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon back with 3v3. And we're up against Bartholomeus, and he is representing uh, Sabres of Pain. Don't know too much about the guild, but in terms of his roster, it is almost a carbon copy, so this should be a good fight. There's a lot of great characters there, in all honesty. Um, been doing a little bit of work on my First Order. Um, he's got a nice Mandalorian, actually. But yeah, so uh, last season I didn't upload two episodes. One, uh, in the second fight, it was up against a Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren, who was also with a Darth Malak. So it was incredibly boring. Unfortunately, without another Galactic Legend, you can't get through them. And that's the reality. So that was an incredibly boring fight. Round number three was mm, okay, but I just, I, I think I was suffering a little bit from burnout from doing lots of videos recently, but also a few things at home, uh, meaning that I was getting a lot less sleep. So anyway, we're back now and all is well. I'm fairly excited about this fight. I think this will be a good one. Defense in review. You can see Grievous at the top there, but I pulled Watt out. I put V1 in there and I also put V2. I know it's a little bit easier for Darth Revan. Old Ben, uh, Kenobi and Zaris. I think that's a little bit annoying because of the evasion. Crit hits as well. Um, we went with our uh, traditional... Separatists up top, uh, Geo Brood Alpha with Spy and Droidica, and then the leftovers. Saved a little bit more for offense this time. We went with Shakti and clones, and the reason why I've been playing with uh, with Vives's lead. But then this is nice, thirty five percent, sorry, thirty five speed, and they recover health and protection when they uh, attack out a turn. Fifteen percent max health and max five percent max protection, and then fifteen percent offense. So you can run it with Rex. I do like Rex for the annihilate, or you can run it with Echo for it to be pretty good as well. Uh, Night Sisters then make out the rest, and then. Um, Scoundrels. Now, I did try this a little bit differently, so no leader on that one, but I've tried Wat Tambor in with Zalbar and Mission. Hopefully, that's going to cause people an issue. We've got our timeout team with uh, Han, Van Chu, and L3, and then we've gone for a Basti one, uh, along with some Separatists. I've swapped out IG from that GG squad that we had last time, and he's now in here. So, first things first is we want to open the bottom. So, up top, we're showing EK uh, Bounty Hunter team, but a, a little bit of DPS, and we'll get through that. There is that Zeta on, um, uh, what's his name, uh, on Grief Karga. I was going to say um, Grief Garga. I, cu I couldn't remember his name for the life of me then. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, an annoying Night Sisters squad there. And then Old Republic, General Grievous. Down here, though, this is a hard... This is actually a hard uh, one with the Mandalorian as well. He's geared him up nicely. And speed-wise, Django Fett is 260, so he's actually going to be 290. So I think I'm going to go Rebels there. I I think I'll probably go Padme bottom, and I think I'll go Malak uh, with this one. Do like my solo Maleks. Uh, obviously, I can't use them anywhere else. But I think I've been a little bit laxy daisy in the... Oh, I do want to go for fives first, out of courtesy. Um, but yeah, I think I do want to start doing a few harder counters <coughs> in the front territory. Uh, just simply because... It's becoming a little bit of an issue. The other one I could have used here was uh, First Order. So I've been upgrading my First Order, and it's been not as bad as I thought, actually. Uh, I'll segue into them. <clears throat> I mean, in a very long away future, I think we probably will have a look at uh, a Galactic Legend. Hmm. I, the jury is still out with it, I think. Um... I think I'll go one, two, and like three should be fine. I mean, the stacks of courage will will do their own. The reason that I'm, I am going hard counter with this is this is a pretty quick, uh, easy to underestimate this 
<clears throat> but 266 that equates to uh, 296 speed so it's gonna get off the bat pretty quick 262 um I was thinking of Emperor Palpatine otherwise, but it's just far too quick. Uh, Emperor Palpatine with Basti, possibly, but I don't mind keeping that squad for another one. Uh, so I think I will go Galactic Republic on this one. Uh, I was just picking who who that last one is. <clears throat> I don't, well, I think I could go Rex plus one. Uh, sorry, um, Skywalker plus one. Well, I've got plus two there, actually. So I think I'll go Ahsoka Tano. And I can actually focus fire straight in here. Don't mind that stun. Mm, there we go. Right, let's get some health and protection out. 12 stacks. I uh, won't quite deal with her, but we've got a good set of stacks. Okay, let's bury that one. Let's bury that one. And, okay, so got to be careful with those Night Sisters. You really, really do, especially the speeds. As I said, this one is a fast Django. There is no um, leadership on it, but Mandalorian, I do want to deal with. So I think I'm going to go Rebels on this one. And I'm just going to take them out, blast them, and job done. Mm, actually, I'm going to have a think about it. <laughs> actually, you know what? We are going to go Palpatine. Um, yeah, we are. And the re... I really shouldn't be doing this. I really, really shouldn't be doing this. Because um, it could go very wrong. Let's go in with this, actually. I don't think I outrun her. I don't think it is too, but we have got the... Uh, yeah, so there goes Burning. Nice bit of fear. Let's see if we can get some stuns out there. Oh, beautiful. Have we got a shock out there? We don't. So let's get a ability block there. Let's get some shock on going there. And let's just go basic, actually. We do have a shock there, so let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can proc that guy. Get some more of that out there. See if we can take this guy out. Nice, so he's not coming back. Uh, Django is probably more so the threat. Okay, so that worked a little bit better than I thought. And in all honesty, I prefer rebels at the back. Yes, I definitely prefer Rebels at the back. Fairly interesting back lineup, First Order, Double First Order. Uh, Shaq T, which is always tricky. General Hux, which is fairly nice. That team, not a huge uh, danger, but it will strip banners. Chair Brood Alpha, there isn't a huge amount of threat there. So a two-man, I think, there uh, with Sion and Treya. Yeah, I think that would be fine. So what I'll do, I'll work out, as per usual, what squads I've got left, which I've got quite a few, actually. Um, I mean, this guy has saved a lot for offense, so we're going to have to really make sure that we crunch out those banners. So I'll see you shortly. And also, by the time he's done that, or I've done that, um, this will be an absolute slugfest. So looking forward to the final scores, and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers, guys. And we're back, and wouldn't usually leave it this late with half an hour to go, but Baby Moon absolutely refused to go to sleep tonight, so an emergency pram ride at like 9pm, uh, that seemed to do the trick finally. She usually goes to bed at 7pm, it's now half nine, so looking forward to a line in the morning, except I know she won't. So what are the teams that we've got left? Because we've got to get through it fairly quickly. Okay, Asajj is quite dangerous. I mean, they're all... They're not bad squads, in all honesty. Uh, probably want to go Jedi against this one. It's fairly reliable. I think he failed on his Jedi because of gear 12 Jolie rather than a relic Jolie. So we'll see. I could well eat my words. And let's just go straight into here. 
And yeah, let's not start knocking down some stacks on B2. Uh, let's go straight for him. Let's do a biggie. Should have gone basic there in all honesty. Okay, as you can see, not not really much damage there on um, uh, on Jolie. I will keep him healthy though. Get some foresight out again. Throw that over to Jolie actually. Just a basic there. This is usually better banners, but as you can see, this is uh, it's always a little bit of a tricky fight, especially with B two in there. I'm just going to go basic. Okay, that was a nice crit avoid there. We are getting through this. This should be B2 gone fairly soon. Uh, let's put that up, see if we can tank a hit from Grievous. Let's throw that over there. Okay, yes, that's fine. We should have the mark coming up fairly soon as well. Uh, Going to go over bonus attack there again. Just keep Jolie nice and healthy. And then start getting some banners back. And let's go here. Let's try and strip some turn meter. No dice that time. Let's throw that over there. Let's do that over here. And this should bring Yoda back up. Okay, and just basic. Mm. So I've got one there, uh, let's try and bring Joe Lee back up, but I don't think uh, it's not possible. So it, it's usually a pretty surefire way to counter Grievous, but you've got to have the health on uh, on Joe Lee. Uh, Deadpool Kyle there, make sure to go and check out on his channel. Um, me and him did a uh, quite an in-depth video about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, Burnout, so definitely go and check that out. Right, I think Bounty Hunter's here, and I'm half tempted, no, I will go, um, I kind of want to try out Dengar, just for the healing capabilities, because I know that in a, um, uh, in like a tight matchup, it's going to make all the difference. So whilst Burning's on, can't uh, gain the old bonus turn meter, uh, Sarge is a pretty, um, tough cookie when it comes to relics just go like basic tappy tap okay there we go and we should be able to get burn on the go this should this might actually be full banners anyway okay another AO oh that was annoying um, another AOE might just do it though I might just hammer away here Try and get bonus protection up that way. And 54, so that counts as full. I'll take that. Um, that guy's... Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you the defense. I'll show you after what held, what didn't. I think Shakti and clones are kind of forced in with rebels. Um, I think that's an, uh, a nice squad to use there. Or have I used them? No, I haven't nice because i've literally forgot i'm not too bothered about feats as i said it's we've got 26 minutes left and i kind of just want to get it done um not really t that much bothered about the feats oh nice aoe to strip the banners gg right let's start getting some banners back maybe although i don't think i can might get one or two for oh, 53 so lost two one banner there i'll take that so what have i also got left well i've got bosk which i'm um, not too worried about mm, first order again maybe a little bit of an issue but um we'll see so i think well this i know what i want to do Sith Empire. Do I know I want to go just normal Sith? So let me go normal Sith with this. 
And I think two would be fine on this. Reason being, A, the leadership, and B, there's no spy in there anyway. So we've just got Sunfac. We've got Wat Tambor. Um, but they're, they're going to do most of the work for me here. Um, may as well isolate there. So he's going to get plenty of protection back anyway, but it's not going to matter too much, I don't think. Um, it may do, actually. It might time out here. Yeah, I guess with that weapon tech out and everything, uh, it's going to be a little bit annoying. But we'll see. I'm hoping that uh, that we do actually have the DPS. Probably should have brought Nihilus in. Yeah, it's a little bit of a rough squad. Yeah, this may well be an issue, actually. Um, yes, yeah, so let's isolate there instead. Yeah, not a bad little um, little team. This actually, I was kind of wondering why they were they uh, done it like this, but um, yeah, that kind of makes sense, I guess. But yeah, the attacks out of turn, I guess, um, it's just about getting through it. So this wasn't as uh, as good as I thought, in all honesty. So this might be our only uh, loss of the night, possibly. Yeah, cleansing. Yeah, that's nice, actually. Uh, can't get to uh, Wattam Ball, annoyingly. And Trey is about to go. Okay. Mm, I don't think I can get to... Oh, attacking out of turn, possibly. But yeah, Nihilus definitely needed here instead. Can't get through to that, but I could possibly get through to Wat Tambor fairly soon. I think when I do, it will be a little bit easier. Yeah, so this is this is a pretty ropey team without the full triumph for it, actually. I didn't expect this. Guess what Tambor is doing work in there, and more annoyingly, uh, it just sort of like ties me up. So I tell you what, I'm actually going to come out of this because this isn't going anywhere. Uh, which leaves me a little bit of an issue. I don't have a huge amount of teams left. Uh, right, okay, so yeah, definitely Darth Revan down there then. So let's go Sith Empire. That was a little bit of a blooper, um, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go with the Taunt. Mm, and I could do with goddamn getting through this actually. Let's put that on the leader anyway. God, what an annoying team. But if I played it right in the first place, I would not have that issue. Yeah, I'll probably lose. Oh, God. God. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a nightmare of a team. Oh my my. Uh, right, I may as well do that anyway. And yeah, let's go. Right, there goes Wat Tambor. But I'm definitely dying here. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. What a nightmare. So I'll see what I've got left with it. Um, right, first order, I'll probably just go with resistance, and yeah, a little bit annoying, but what can you do, I guess? You can't really do anything when you haven't got much time. Uh, 
Should have definitely gone Foresight there. And I think I want to try and get rid of First Order Officer first and foremost. Um, probably would choose something harder than this, but usually um, needs must, I guess, when in a sticky situation. And there's a secret sleeper team for you. The Geos. And I guess Darth Revan isn't isn't all that good without um, Bastila Shan in there as well. It should be, but it wasn't, I guess. Too much taunt. So yeah, nice squad. I'll give him that. So now we're on even terms. Uh, if he can get through us, that is. I'm not sure whether he will or not. Um, but yeah, should, well, as I said, not happy with this result, but it is what it is, I guess, at the end of the day. Got to eke him out some way. Uh, probably will be doing, uh, I've got Kylo OG. I've got the gear ready for him for gear 12, so may well possibly do that tonight or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so it's a way through anyway. All right, job is done. Uh, okay, what have I got up left top? Bounty Hunters. Uh, what empire have I got left? Vader lead and Thrawn. Maybe try and kill him off with dots. Uh, I really don't like any of these options because now I've got to kind of take Sky Guy up there. What other teams do I actually have? I don't have a huge amount, in all honesty. Uh, let's have a look at Scoundrel, see if they can save the day. And this could well be a loss, actually. And yeah, let's go with this, try and take out First Order. Uh, not sure if this will work, but certainly will try. Let's try and get rid of his turn meter okay let's go to work on Hux see ya right could do with chaining a few crits together not enough not enough not enough but that's okay it's a B team um, probably just need to clear but it's time is against me so let's have a look. What do we have? We have Wampa, I guess. Uh, just taking any old fool. Uh, I might try Imperial Troopers, actually. One, two, and three. See if we can get out ahead of them. Uh, nope. But if we can kill off Hux here, that makes our life a whole lot easier. And uh, no, it might work. No. <laughs> okay, definitely don't. Troopers are so bad, 3v3. Uh, again, race against time here. Mm, right, let's just go with any old Sith. And anyone, anyone, anyone. Let's go with that. Again, super sloppy, but who cares? Um, yeah, I genuinely don't know if uh, if I will get through actually. And he's only got two battles left. He's got a new team, and he's got that team, so he may well have deliberately left it. Uh, okay, so I've got a plan for that one. I've kind of got to go with, um, uh, what's his name here, Sky Guy. And let's take him full three, maybe. And should quite easily have the DPS here, especially without Wat Tambor. Well, we'd take care of it anyway. This is a super hard counter. We're a super annoying squad. Off if Nihilus had been there. 
it wouldn't have really been an issue but um, again I chose not to Uh, let's see if we can take out some fac actually. Uh, no, I definitely want to take out brood. There we go. Right, we're through that one. This could well be a loss uh, if he's got a couple of teams left, but I'm skating through it now. Uh, never really liked doing this. So what have I got left? I've got that Karth team and I've got... Okay, so let's try some first order. I did keep first order... For offense this time so now is the time to come and shine i guess uh yeah he's quick let's put a halt to that and could definitely do with some good work in here get a stun off there nice and let's see if we can stun again noob I guess that's where grief is is pretty good actually. And let's try a big hit there. Uh, stun over there. Bit of turn meter. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there though. See if that AoE kills her off. It does. Okay. This is pretty ropey. How long have I got left? Really not long now. Gotta get through. Oh, God. Gotta get through. Uh, right, that's better. Oh. Come on. Right. Here we go. Get me through Bosk already. And it's pretty tanky grief, even at um, even at this gear level. And may well have to put this on auto actually. Um, this will be pretty rough actually if I don't get through this. Uh, again, I'm just really conscious of time on this one. Don't seem to be doing the DPS. There he goes. Okay, so um, well, he stacks, doesn't he stack damage? Uh, no, otherwise he gains 20% health. Oh, right, okay. So yeah, it doesn't really help. Okay, let's come out of this. Don't have time for this. I'll forfeit this. I shouldn't have forfeit that because now Zam's back there. And okay, let's go with. Um, I've got a couple of options here. All right, Bosk is the biggest issue. So, something like this, maybe. Yeah, let's go this. See if we can get a hold of it. And right, let's get these bad boys out. Uh, yes, definitely want to fracture in there. Now then go to work over here. I guess Thrawn's fracture isn't really like that good 3v3. Uh, grief has popped up actually. I'm going to throw that back over there. Get those cooldowns increased again. I've got a feeling that we're going to be running pretty late on this. Because I've still got to get through another team and a ship's battle. We'll see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. This has been a little bit of an annoying defence and it could still lose. Uh, more so just from that one underplayed battle. Okay, there we go. And then it really does domino everything else. No attacks yet. I don't know why I'm wasting time. going to go... That, that, and that probably. No leader, why would I? Let's go, can't gain buffs. Let's get some days out there, more importantly. 
and let's try for a stun in here. I think as soon as you get um, rid of Karth, it's a little bit easier actually. Throw that Daze out there again. Right, come on. Right, there we go, there's one down. And that's a little bit rough on Nest at the moment. Let's stack that damage, let's put eight, oh my god. There's Daze is there. This confuses that. Let's put that second stack up there. Okay, that was a nice hit. We might just get through this. Although I don't know. Like Wampa should be doing a good deal of work here though. Right, there's that dodge from that. Ness should be coming up fairly soon to like some decent um, decent damage as well. Okay, so we, we're doing work on Zalbar here. Okay, if we can get through just one of them, that's fine. Come on, baby. Big hit. Nice. And what have I got left now? I've got eight minutes for ships. I'll take that. Let's keep stacking that damage. So, yeah, a little, <laughs> well, a lot tougher than I thought. Um, I'll take 50 banners. That looks a lot better than, uh, than the last few battles we've been having, in all honesty. Right, ships it is. Malevolence. So, we're going to go Kenobi. We're going to go this, 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 some more Galactic Republic. And nope, not that one. Let's go with the Millennium Falcon. It never lasts this long anyway, but how long have we got then? We have got seven minutes. That's all we need. Uh, go for the Vulture Droid first. So I know which one I, I need to get rid of and which one I don't. Some healing immunity out there. Gonna taunt up. And I've, I've actually switched out Malevolence. Um, I, I was running it on defense and then I found it just wasn't um, getting... They were going through it way, way too easy. I think that may be down to... Um, oh, that's a nasty ship. I'm pretty tanky as well, if I remember right. We should be okay. We just need to get through it. And not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. But we just need to get through it. Right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that taunt actually in a big hit. Let's bring in you. You can taunt a bit as well. There's that guy gone. Uh, the ultimate is really good on uh, on this. This this team is pretty rough and it gets rough pretty quick. Let's see if we can take out a couple of vulture droids. And yes, let's go for this as well. Nice. Okay, job done. Sixty banners. Don't care. Got through it. And that is a win, three, two, three, eight, one. With four minutes to spare. Oh, I don't know what I was worried about. Collect up some feats as well. And there we go. So we've got one more on our first attempt. Oh, yes, that was it. I was going to show you what held for me. So super, super lucky on that one. Again, huge, huge rush. Um, so thank you for sticking with it. Top Territory, Grievous held for four battles. So as I said, the um, so now it will make sense as to why I was saying you do need a, a Relic um, Jolie as well. That was super rough. 
first three battles no problem at all geos gave me a little bit of a surprise so do watch out for that hux i was just going to get through with b teams anyway because i knew i had to clear and yeah bosk was a little bit annoying under grief like three star gear 10 is that nine gear 10 or nine 10 i think you'll see that that's pretty good character to have in 3v3 so fingers crossed you've enjoyed it i definitely have them with the race against time and i will see you in the next one cheers guys